The Advanced Engineering Building is, is another example where um, the site and the context had a big uh, influence on, on the built outcome. Brisbane is one of those few places in the world where if you get the right um, environmental response that you can operate a building for you know over two-thirds of the year without air conditioning for example so without heating and cooling so you know that that information and given it's an engineering building provides a great great fuel to to challenge uh, the team to to respond in a way that is really a Brisbane response you know locally specific to the Brisbane climate and then you overlay that with with its orientation uh, with a large north facing orientation a slope down to the water and then all the complexities of the program um, you know I think that we were we were able to combine all these ingredients and the aspiration to provide a very specific response to not only uh, the University of Queensland and the engineering context of that, but, but also very specific to its location in the campus and, and to Brisbane. There, there's a very literal way that the client can experience site and place in the built outcome, and, and that is, you know, within the building, uh, there's great visual connection to the exterior. The north integrates a, um, a terracotta facade that, that's like a series of, you know, almost like the canopy of a tree. So it provides shade, it, it helps direct sunlight for different times of the day and protects from sunlight at different times of the year or the day depending on, you know, east versus west. Um, but at the same time, that's designed in a way that maximises outlook and and for particular orientations towards the, the lake, for example. There's also, um, you know, larger interventions, for instance, in the ground that we're, we're dragging fresh air into the, the base of the building. And so natural air is naturally cooled as it comes through concrete, uh, a concrete environment and then is fed up into the atrium. And it even comes down to the administration area, for instance, they, it's like sitting in a car where you can control your, um, you know, the fresh air. So it, it's task air, effectively. So they can sit and they can control the air directly into their, their close working environments. There's operable windows throughout the whole building. So there's a, there's a large scale gesture and operational mode. The building facilitates connection to the environment, but there's also sort of the detail that that can do that. The benefit for the user in the engineering building is effectively over, th over 300 days of the year there's a naturally ventilated building so you know it's it's more comfortable uh, it's the quality of the air is, is better it's a fresher environment it has a, a more direct with relationship from inside to out so you know I think as a user it, it's, it's an environment where you're really connected to the context of where you sit, it's very site specific in that way. You're inside and you're outside and, and there's a very strong relationship.